sounds like me. But guess what? I have lots and lots of friends who cannot do without me. Why? <laughs> yeah. That's because I get to listen to their problems and I do the self -work. How do I ever get to do such problems and stuff? I bet I don't know because I didn't need someone to listen to my own problems. Oh! These damn crazy heels. Why do I ever wear them? You can imagine how many times I get uncomfortable in one day. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth, <laughs> I wear them all the time. So, you can count how many times I get uncomfortable in one day. But, I have to wear them. I have to wear them because of people like that. Guys, the one hell of a catalyst. They start it all and they're never there to feel your discomfort. Screw them. Yo, I wonder why girls think they can see through boys. Those creatures are so myopic. They are easily brainwashed. Okay, I'll break it down for you. Show a girl the money. Show her a glimpse of success. Show her power. And she's all yours. It doesn't matter if the success, power, or money are real. They don't care. They don't. Girls work on perception. Their brains are in their eyes. And most often, they are closed. A hundred guys are standing. A girl passes by. 99 turns over to look at her. The one who's not looking at her, <laughs> is on the phone with a line to another girl. Ever wonder where their minds are focused? Ever wonder what they're thinking? Ever wonder what they want? Okay, one thing girl, the butt, the abs, my shiny. <laughs> you know, you really don't need to take the girl to bed. All you need to do is just strip her naked in their dirty minds and make wild love to her. But the good thing is this, we know it. The girls know it. So what do we do? <laughs> Walk it girl, we shake it the more. This is Lagos, a city with over 3 million beautiful girls of different shapes and color. <laughs> Here I am, Mike, in the midst of these 3 million babes. Hmm. Well, it's not going to be easy. Jacinta and Jennifer are twins, but with two different identities. You know, you're like two countries in two separate continents. Gosh, can I get out of this drive for a while? The heat is killing me. Are you all so daft in this place? This dry is frying my head up for crying out loud. Get me out of this thing! <gasps> Both share two different views about guys, dating, and relationships. Guys, they're such a wonderful creature. They make a girl's life more meaningful. I've been seeing Jim for a year now, but it seems like I've known him forever. They're just a bunch of kids. The thinking process is so slow and abnormal because their brains are not situated in their heads. Have hmm. I wondered what Jennifer thinks their brains are? Hidden between their thighs. Upside down, maybe. You know, in the real sense, I am a specialist when it comes to guys, babes, dating and flings. I've been to one of 46 guys and I've had flings with 62. Still not enough. So when I see a guy, I can tell what size is, whatever is small, long, medium, thin. Trust me, I know. Oh, seen one over there? Hmm. He's got all the parts of his body concentrated between his thighs. Really big. Hi, bro. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. 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 I
I know. As you can see how he's doing. He's really small up there. Really small. Too small. Hell no. I'm a player by profession and I'm proud that I am. Don't get me wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. A guy with a first class degree in law is not a never do well. So my chosen profession is one made out of choice. Wow. A beautiful girl. A beautiful car with an own gentlemanly engine in the middle of nowhere. How may I solve this puzzle, sugar? Don't tell me you're really going to go under there because of me. Are you? Well, if she knew how much I wanted to go under there. She would seek the services of a blacksmith to construct a metal on this for her. Someone has got to do it anyway. Yeah, and I hate to see people suffer. Especially things that I can do easily. Where are you driving? Even when you don't have a car, get a car key. That is the only thing girls know more than anything. If you have a key, you open the door to our heart. I don't know a jack about cars, but sometimes this playboy's luck comes into play. Um, start it. Thank you, thank you so much. Huh. You make my day. Well, uh, <laughs> my name is Funke. She expects you to say your name. Don't. Okay. If your car ever stops anywhere in this world, please give me a call. Alright. Oh, are you a doctor? Well, I've been practicing for eight years now. Really? Don't mind my looks. It's it kind okay. of makes me feel younger. Okay. Good. One thing about this kind of girls is that they are decent. So you let them know you do a decent profession. When I find that again, I'm a bit of a favorite eight times for the cock club. That's what? 
Call the girls, call your summary doctor. That's that what? Call the girls, call your summary doctor. Oh. Oh boy. Rubbish. Guys like him? I know his type. He won't even last one minute in two nights. Shit him. The summary doctor? Trust me, it's small. <laughs> For how long are you going to draw me to my head how dependent I am on you? For as long as it will take you to become reasonable. I'm not prostituting. Look, I'm not going to sell my body for money. Do you no. understand? Good girl. Just don't bite your tongue, okay? Body for me. <laughs> we even have no time today. What else? I think I'm okay. Oh, sexual seduction. Oh. Hi, pretty doll. Uh, have we met somewhere? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm wrong, okay? You're not the girl I met. Because the girl I met, she's got a lot of cutsy. Uh-huh. Why don't you use your eyes pop? Like open your blind eyes very well so you don't get to make a mistake whoa, whoa, next girl, time. That was rude. That was rude, girl. You ain't gonna be rude to me like that. Jesus Christ, oh my God, oh, 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 hold on, sorry baby, look, look, um, yeah, you know, the girl I met isn't this beautiful, and, and, and the girl I met, oh my God, she, she doesn't have cute eyes and lovely backside, and besides, I did not look at your front side, baby, you're beautiful, oh, sorry, sorry, I, I hope I was not rude. Can you possibly stop doing that? Besides, what do you want? Uh... <laughs> Screw you. Uh, um, uh, I, I thought you would commend my great sense of humor. You know. Can you do me a favor? Make my day by going straight to the point? Uh. Yeah. Well, my name is Captain Oyibo. Captain? <laughs> Idiot. Tell me your name, my friend. Amu? No. Mm. That's nice. Uh, Mimi, I guess I'll see you some other day. I've got an appointment to catch now. Okay? Oh, you don't know, Mike. 
baby, I show sure you don't know Mike. Cause you know who Mike is, you ain't gonna mess with Mike. Cause Mike is a bad nigga. Uh, you don't know Mike. Oh baby, well, she knows Mike today. See my father. Really? I'm broke. How come nobody knew you've reconciled with your father? Am I supposed to go to the top of the globe building to announce to the world that I've reconciled with my father? Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, lady. Hey. Hi. Hi. Mimi, Sophia said she has reconciled with her father. Oh, really? Don't listen to her. I wasn't serious when I told her. When are you ever serious with anything? That is not Lucy. You didn't think I would waste my time telling you serious issues. I mean, since when have lesbians become people to discuss serious issues with? Oh. I'm a lesbian and so what? At least my father doesn't think I'm a bastard. Oh! You dare call me a bastard? Hey, no, 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 no! Hey, hey! Oh! Oh! Sophia and Lucy. Sophia has an issue with her father. Maybe issues. Father and daughter, they just don't see eye to eye. Whoever said blood isn't thicker than water. These two love the opposite sex like crazy. Lucy, she's a chronic lesbian. Come on, don't ask me how we manage to stay in the same flat without being sexually molested. Because it happens. But the three other occupants of this house love men like ants love sugar. Besides, each chick has her own flat. Come on, boss. Hey, enough! Is so annoying. Who the hell does he think he is anyway? This place reminds me of Vegas. Vegas, really? Fantastic place. Oh my god. I'm together with me, my angel. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare come here to talk to me. You remind me of Beyonce. Beyonce, really? We hung out together twice. That thing is interesting. Talkative. You talk too much. You should have been a woman, my dear. I love to wake up, baby. Thank you, man. <laughs> He's jealous. This type. She is bored. She needs a meaning to life. Gosh, can you believe it? He's coming right here. Thank you. 
Smoking kills, man. Hmm? <laughs> don't, 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 don't mind me. I'm just kidding, okay? I'm just kidding. Um, can I have this? I guess not. Damn. I don't smoke this shit. So what the hell am I doing with it? deflate him. <laughs> like hell no. He didn't look like a balloon. He looks every inch like a rock. You're the prof, girl. I don't need to tell you what to do. <laughs> hey, I mean you don't come into play here. The object in question is not a girl. Oh, police. What's wrong with you girls, Mimi? Why can't you just let me be? <laughs> Nobody is stopping you from being. We only think it would be nice if you learn to be normal. See, this is who I am, okay? I can be like you or any of the other girls. I'm different. I'm unique in my own way. I've tried several times to be like you, but it just doesn't work. I'm not attracted to men. Why is it so difficult for you girls to understand? Lucy? Have you ever felt the touch of a guy? You don't know what you're missing. to upset your dad. so crazy to leave you here with a total stranger. <laughs> he is not my dad. He's not? Okay, uh, are you going to sit here with him? I mean, are you still waiting for him? Just tell me, tell me something. 
What do you want from me? Baby. The very first time I set my eyes on you. I fell into an oblivion. It took the memory of your laughing eye and then an enchanting smile to jolt me back to consciousness. My name is John. John Fashion. Oh, thank you. And please, don't ask if I am the ass footballer, because I'm not. And don't ask if I am related to him, because I am not. You look so much like him. Yeah, yeah. I know people are telling him the same. <laughs> okay, so tell me, are you like, um, what do you do? Are you like a footballer or something? Footballer? Nah. I'm a fresh graduate. Right now I'm serving Nigeria, you know, the youth couple thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honey. Uh, got to go, he's coming back. Say hi to your dad. It's not my dad. It is your dad. He's your dad. Thank you so much, honey. As we said, I can't get it. Girls, what is wrong with you, people? You don't even want to so let me complete my gist. I was this, as we said. Well, as I was saying, right there by the corner of the hotel. Because this chick, I am my doctor lady. Girls, you should have seen me. I was filled with anger. I mean, look at it. These girls, I mean, they are so desperate these days. More desperate than Eve, if you ask me. <laughs> if nowadays girls were to be in Garden of Eden, they would have plucked the forbidden fruit and eaten it long before God would have finished creating the eyes of his and seeing the fruit itself. Girls, you see what I don't give chances this night? You don't, too. What did you do then? Ah, the question I've been waiting for. Girls, girls. If you had seen me, you would have been so proud. Mm. Because I just walked up to her. You know, for a little discussion, advice, what you would call warning. <laughs> girls, you should have seen me. Even potential support wouldn't have been more harsh. Papa. I hate it to Papa. write to the point. Then, <laughs> Lizzie, you went too far. Uh, you went too far. Girl, there is no such thing as going too far. I mean, there is no limit to what a girl can do to protect her crude oil. <laughs> <laughs> and girl, please, Dr. Lady, he is my crude oil. <laughs> With who? <laughs> hey, G! Look at my baby! Look at you! How are you? Come here, come here! Oh, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I didn't tell you I was coming back to Nigeria, okay? I'm sorry. Look, I am not... No, 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 don't, don't say anything, okay? I, I'm sorry. Listen, I am not... Uh, you don't tell me you're not angry because I, I know you are. But I'm sorry. See, I'm here for you, baby girl, okay? Goodies, I think it is obvious he's mistaking me to be my sister. Darling, baby, but you, you took me on all the worst. I'm sorry, I told you I'm sorry, but you know what? I miss you so much. Come on, stand up. No, look at you. Stand up. Come on. No, look. Just look at you. I missed you so much. I missed you too, darling. No, no. Darling! Yes, you, you don't used to call me darling. Have you forgotten? You used to call me sweet nonsense. Sweet 
nonsense. That's my girl. I'm happy with oh, you. Oh, baby. But now as I say, take us with you. You look at 363. Wow, that's my girl. Come here, baby girl. Oh, you oh yes, yeah, sweet yeah. darling. No, 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 sweet nonsense. Sweet nonsense, baby. No, no. It, it me it's so, so good, good to have you back, sweet nonsense. nonsense. Father, I want to talk to you about my daughter. Talk about you, your daughter. We account for ourselves. No, I, I want to talk to you about what I did to my daughter. Journalist, my father. Well, that's it for the clothes. Yeah. And of course, this is a dear bag, you know. Actually, I was looking for a clear glasses to go with it, but girl, when I saw these Gucci glasses, I knew it was the right frame. So I guess I just have to look for see a Gucci handbag to go with it. <laughs> if you knew what. Mimi and her friends are saying about you. Whatever. You would not be here wasting time trying to impress them. Me? Mm. Trying to impress who? Whatever. Mimi. That girl that can never meet up to my fashion sense. Mm -hmm. Please. For really? Well, <laughs> she thinks you buy all your things from Okrika. And she claims she knows your. Sarah. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Mimi can run her mouth all she wants. Okay? She's just doing that because she's jealous. She knows even in 10 years, she can't catch up. I mean, I'm all there, she's there. She was actually saying it to Alaji the Vista. Mm. Nice glasses, though. Mm. I think it's high time you made up your father, don't you think so? Come on, Tana. Come on. I mean, we all know your father is an ass with a big hole. I mean, for the fact that he's a guy. But girl, that man deserves to be called daddy again. Look, you girls don't understand. <gasps> no need to get aggressive. Mm -mm. <laughs> Come on, I mean, it's your cup of tea. Drink it whichever way you choose. Hot, cold, warm. It's your problem. I think there's something I want you guys to know. Tana, please. Now, I have an appointment which I wouldn't miss for the whole tickups in China. So please, let's talk about this later. Please. Mimi, please. You've always been there for me. It's a secret I've kept for 11 good years. I think not. I meant this. Wonderful guy today. This guy is sweet and smooth. 
his guts. Intelligence of the highest order. His honest, his humble, and marriable. Girls, I think I found my husband. Christ help us all. As you were saying, darling, before you were interrupted by a manless brat who happens to be one of us, unfortunately. I didn't know you guys were talking. Hello. Hi. Watama well, here wants to tell us a secret. Can you please? Shh. Secrets? Oh, I love secrets. So. You had sex with your daughter? How exactly did it all happen? Well, Father, forget about how it all happened. Actually, it started one day and since then, our entire life was altered. There is no sin too grave for God to forgive. I did not come here to ask for God's forgiveness. Oh, you didn't? You mean you were screwing your father? Oh, shut up! Yes. I was screwing my dad. You have been screwing your daughter out. You have, you have been doing it with your daughter and you say you don't need God's forgiveness? This is preposterous. You don't understand. I'll be there immediately. I'll join you. Thank you very much. Where are you going to Delhi? I have a meeting to attend. suspecting he was cheating on me that night my heart beat faster than ever I was cheating on her I had insatiable lusts and desire for women how could you be cheating on her? that is not an issue father
Hannah. See him with anybody. told you. I'm, I'm having a, a seven day seminar in Abuja. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Darling, I love you. Yeah. Baby, I love you, okay? I gotta go. I gotta go, right? I thought I, I I wanted to come. And, uh, baby, I, I I thought you were in Lagos, huh? But I'm coming into Lagos tomorrow morning. So once I come in, I'll give you a call, okay? I promise, I'll call you, okay? I'll right, see you, baby. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, baby. Uh, hold on. Okay, hold on. Um. Secretary, please, can you call Senator Bassi and uh, let him know that I want to speak with him right away? Yes, at once. Thank you. Hello. Baby. Uh, you know what? You have to call me back, okay? I'm on the hot seat right now. I'm having a very important board meeting. Okay? Alright. I love you. Okay, I love you. Take care. <laughs> mm. Now, who is fooling who? <laughs> what do you think? The guy's receiving the calls, of course. <laughs> <laughs> to do something very drastic very soon. What could that be? You guess. I'm not good at that. Marry you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Hey, yeah? You know what? Uh, I'll give you a call. You know, give you details and everything, okay? I'll just call you. Sometimes I just kind of uh, don't know how to express it, okay? Oh, no, darling, you don't have to call. Why? I should be doing the calling, okay? You, darling, I also have something special to tell you, so I better be the one to call. But, but I, 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 well, I want to go. Okay, okay, okay. You do the calling, but I promise you one thing that you won't keep me waiting. Not at all. Promise? Deal. You know what? Just saying that. I love you so much. 
I love you too. You sure? Come here. It's all right. I should be on my way. It's getting dark. Okay. All right. No, don't worry. It would be totally indecent to let a young girl be walking around in the dark. So you better stay in. If I had my way, I'd rather talk you in bed. Okay, baby girl. That's all right. Yeah, be good for me. Uh, I will be. Right. See ya. Bye. 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 actually tell her that that again is not the issue the issue here is that I am your father I can't be your husband I can't marry you why didn't you tell me that when you took it away 11 years ago from me you shouldn't have done that to me don't behave as if you didn't like it I was barely 14 I hardly knew my right from my left anyway you enjoyed it you did it you shouldn't be saying this to me. Okay, all right. Accepted you were just 14. What about when you were 15? 17? 19? 21? And now 24? Daddy! You shouldn't be saying this to me. Now listen, 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 time. It is over. Get it. I need a wife. I can't marry you. The world would not understand if I told them that I am married. So get it. Why are you confessing? Listen, listen, Father. I love her. I miss her. What did you miss? Sex. Father, look, look, look. I miss my daughter. I want to convince her that she is a daughter and not a bad man. Why do you want to do it now? I met a girl. Her name is Lizzie. And I wanted to marry her. Father, that is why. It's okay, it's okay, Tana. See, were you in love with him? Hmm? It's heartbreaking that your father had to leave you like this, but why are you crying? 
to you. go back to him. Just good. Give him a ring, friend. Oh, shut up! Just, just shut your trap! Why are you telling me to shut up? <laughs> Why? I'm a bloody lesbian. And everybody enjoys saying that to me. Better. A lesbian. <laughs> or she who enjoys having <laughs> sex with her father. Oh, shut, 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 shut up. your mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Just shut up, okay? Shut up! Shut up too! Christ! <laughs> <laughs> hey Jesse, where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. I wanted you to meet my new boyfriend. How many of your boyfriends have I met this weekend? About 10, I guess. Oh, this one is a special one you don't want to know. The guy is so up to date as a correct guy. Is that why you're making a fuss about him? Oh, why do you have to be so nonchalant? Oh, yeah? Interesting. Like you had a form for your day. I just as a friend, I think I need to advise you. Save it. Thank you. Anyway, it's not an advice per se. It's a message. From who? Your bed. It says it has missed you so much. Then you take a message back to it. Save it, thanks. Whatever. Look. This night, I'm going out again. And this time, my client for this night is an old, rich widow. I wouldn't keep her waiting for an insatiable bed. Thank you, Mike. You're taking this job too far. Really think so? Bobby, you have no moral standing to point fingers at me. Look at you. You hear yourself? You're here living the life of a guy that works and share. Only you're just an ordinary TV producer. Huh? At least I can thank you for giving me a reason why I should stick to my job. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sophia. Hello? Can you hear me? As clear as a sound from a good speaker. <laughs> She's nervous. She should be smiling and pacing. Are you smiling? <laughs> I know I shouldn't. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm smiling too. <laughs> so? Mm. 
So. So, my angel. Uh, okay, I was just checking you out, okay? Uh, hi, it's uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You needed to see yourself. You looked like a moron, like an idiot. That's how you were acting. I mean, you won't understand. This guy is the most honest guy I've ever met. Hello. You barely know him. Forgotten? Mimi, please. What is that about first impressions? Ah. Oh. I see. First impressions. Hmm. Sophia, as I fondly call her, she always falls in love. She meets a guy, he rings at her, and she's in love. Sometimes I wonder, does she ever feel body pains from these falls? Christmas girl. Imagine the insult. He's not going to marry me, except his daughter approves of it. What kind of insult is that? Why are you getting so agitated? I thought this relationship means just money to you. No! Well, why haven't you been listening to anyone that have said? I don't care. I said, I don't want to marry him. I want to marry him. <laughs> Listen to yourself. You're saying the same thing. No, I am not. I, I am saying, I, I want to marry him. Then, Divorce him and he wills half of his estate to me. Or better still, he drops that after three weeks of marriage. And I inherit everything. Lizzie, where's his daughter? I don't know. This stupid girl just up and disappeared one day. Making my life miserable. All oh, my hard work. <laughs> I think I have an idea. Just say it. Maybe I should present myself as his daughter. <coughs> that is the most stupid thing I've ever heard come out of your mouth. <coughs> you want to present yourself as his daughter? As in that is blind? I said the girl disappeared, not as a baby, but as an adult. Coach! What's that name? I want to say it. Tana. Um, I think I have another idea. I just must keep your ideas to yourself. No way. Tana is the one. She's the only Tana I know in this world. Stop laughing and I'm thinking. What are you thinking, Lizzie? There's nothing to think. Stop thinking. <laughs> uh, I am thinking Adam might be right. <sighs> Do you know any other Tana? No. my eyes are too occupied with mm -hmm. 
You're so beautiful. You are beautiful. This way, they just show me the way out. You see, Mimi, you're beautiful. You're holy, you're motherly. When I look into your eyes, I see beautiful children. I see, I see a beautiful family. Mimi, will you marry me? Jude. Yes, will you be my wife? That's... It's over.
Baby, sorry I couldn't wait, okay? I, I was missing you, so I just had to come and pick you up myself. Please get into something better and let's get out, okay? Sweet nonsense. Oh, baby. I know, that's what you want. Quick, quick, quick. I, I can't wait. I'm missing you already. I can't wait. Just get into something beautiful and let's go. When did you get back to Nigeria? Exactly what I'm talking about. Baby, baby, listen. You see, uh, have you forgotten we have a date this evening? You don't remember? Jim, this trick is not going to work. When did you get back to the country? Jacinta. Are you alright? Are you alright? I should be asking you that. Hello. Tana, what is wrong? Tana, you look really worried. What is wrong? Tana, your dad. Did you hear from your dad again? No, it's not my dad. It's Lizzie. She knows him. She, she just left here. She wants me to get back home, otherwise she will bring my father here. She gave me 24 hours to get back home. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That, that fat ass tat came into this house? You mean that bitch came in here to, to blackmail you? I don't know what to do. <sighs> I'm coming. Bitch is in the house. (sighs) 
What are you up to? And who let this slut into my home? Stay off, Tana. And if I don't, what are you going to do about it? Did you actually walk into my house to warn me off? Now you listen to me, you good for nothing, dirty tart. You know nothing about blackmail. So if you want to start to learn about blackmail, and you think you can start with Tana, <laughs> you are going to have your dirty, filthy, stinking, sorry ass to blame. <laughs> Can somebody explain to me what is happening here? I want an answer this moment! Jennifer! Have you been sleeping with my man? You prostitute! How could you do that to your own twin sister? Jacinta, do not call me names. How's I supposed to know he was a boyfriend? You have seen his pictures, you have read his notes, you have even seen his videos. So what are you talking about? How do you explain that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Um, who is Jessica? Oh, just shut up! Just shut your trap! Beep, 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 beep. The, don't you understand? It's so confusing. I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> So you didn't tell me you were coming. No, no. Oh, oh, okay, listen. You say I have a, a lot of explaining to do. Can, can, can I just talk? Can oh, I just go. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of here. You disgust me. Just go. 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 See, see. If maybe it's just go. Just go. 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 <sighs> Nothing. What is the problem? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing.
Hello? Who is this shit? Your number is not registered on my phone. I know. You once mistook me for a girl you knew, remember? I meet girls every day. The kind of job I do puts me where they are. I thought yeah. you were a captain. Hello? Is this Captain Oibo? Um, yeah. I, I thought you would never call. I want you to do something for me. Anything? Three girls molested me and I want you to freaking fix them. What? Hey, 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 what, what do you take me for? A gangster? <laughs> Sorry, bye. Idiot! It's okay. Came to come here. that you have the guts to slap me. We are going to hit them and we are going to hit them double. Well, maybe some people just can't stand your shit. <gasps> My shit? She was threatening Tana. Rather, she was blackmailing Tana. I stand in to help and it's now my shit? That's not what we are talking about now. This thing has gone beyond Tana and blackmail. So, what is it about Lucy? It's about the dirty slap on Mimi's face. It's now all about Mimi. It has always been about her. Mimi all the time. Oh, let me get this straight. Do you think I'm egocentric? I mean, do you think I do things to please myself? Well, I don't think so. Suck it out. Who was it that made choose give you 1.2 million as compensation after breaking your heart? Don't bother. I did. Lucilla? Who was it that consoled you all the way when Julia broke your heart and left and married to a man? I did. Who paid your freaking hospital bills after the incident when you got in and almost died? I did. Yeah. You were there for me. You were there for Sophia. You were there for Tana. And so what? <sighs> Lucy. If you have a problem with me, be bold, bring it on, and stop asking me stupid questions. I mean, what is going on here? What the freak is going on here? For the first time in my freaking life, I need your help. I was embarrassed yesterday by that, that fat tat. And you stand there asking me, yeah, 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 so what? <laughs> Tell you what, Mimi, you need us now for the same reason. And at the end of the day, what do they say? She would have died if not because of Mimi. She would have gotten 1.2 million because of Mimi. Oh, give me a break. You have it. Lucy, someone has got to do something for somebody, yeah? I mean, Jesus died for us girls. Would you say it's all about him? Of course it's all about Jesus. Okay, Lucy, would you say you love him or you hate him? Jesus, I mean. It's not about Jesus now. It's about me, me, what you're talking about. Look, girls, I can take care of myself. You Tana. wish. Tell her, wait. This is so annoying. Tell her.
What's she talking about? That is not the issue. You have to explain to me before I even take you to the hospital. Yes, explain to me what she's talking about. That is not the issue now, please, Lizzie. Please. Please help me. I'll take you to the hospital, but you have to explain to me what I just heard. Separate from your sister because of the guy. I'm not leaving because he snatched my boyfriend. That's a lie. And you and I both know that. I'm sure you're angry because he hasn't called you to apologize. That's a complete waste of time. I destroyed my sin that very day. I better start leaving because I cannot afford to live in the same hostel based. However. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>
I hope you're black. I'm the last person to leave the bar. Oh, did I keep you waiting? Oh no, you didn't. Do you have a phone? I hardly make calls, okay? People call me. Idiot, he's just so full of himself. No wonder you're a soldier. You all walk like dogs. Uh, take it easy, lady. Don't insult an officer. Hey. Well, I was the one that called you and needed you help. And as it is now, I don't need your help anymore. Thanks for your time. Maybe I should have come here with a rose. Uh, or, or maybe I should have knelt down romantically to say I'm sorry for coming late. Or probably I, I should have started arranging another table for two and, and explaining why I'm 30 minutes late. That's what you expect me to do. That is what the hypocritic society wants me to do. But shit, if I do all that, would it change the fact that I'm late? Oh, come on, young lady. I'm if here for this business. is acting, let's go straight to the point. I think he's hot, sexy, and he's good. I'm beginning to like this guy. Well, as I said earlier, I don't need your help anymore. This girl, <laughs> very interesting. Okay, I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. It wasn't deliberate. Listen, I hit a seven-year-old boy on my way here. You see? That's a lie, and you know that. <laughs> of course it's a lie. <laughs> Once again, I am Captain Rebo. Mm. It's my pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Please. I'm a hot man. Your heart no heat. Ten years through prison still on my feet. I'm a rocky bad man. Being for the team. Being my six fingers all you need. I'm a superstar Some say I am It doesn't matter what you feel It's what I am So don't you judge me Cause I've been my dues Ten years off the stage On a solo cruise Oh, 
she really does ask that him, but it's okay, the doctor sees his way to leave. Okay. I think he's sleeping with Tana. <laughs> Are you crazy? Do you realize Tana is his daughter? That is what is crazy. God, I can't speak out the screen. What is it this time? I don't understand what's going on this day. What she says Dr. David is sleeping with his daughter. Can you imagine that? That's ridiculous. This outfit I was telling you about. Please spare me the details. Who gave you this number? So you still talk to that bitch? Please, I... No. So what are you doing now? Come on. I sent Jennifer back in. And I'm feeling very lonely. Would it be a nice idea if I invited you over to spend the night? You know it's been over a year. Two. Sophia! Sophia! I'm coming. I won't tell you anymore. Sophia! What? Wait. Just come sit, come sit, come sit. No, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Sit. I think I'm in love. <laughs> How does that affect me? Hey, hey, see, you don't understand. This guy is um, sexy. And guess what? He is the first guy who has not given me half special attention since I met him. Really, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Junior, hello, as in crazy, falling, heads over heels. Hell no, that's an understatement. In love, as in really, really, something about him. He's sexy, he's smooth, he's confident. Okay. He's got style. He's hot. I mean, he's Baby, what the hot can I say? I mean, 
我们要哼吃的苦，好甜。See, <笑> so good. Let's. What? Wait, wait, I can passive my rice bowl. I'm going to die. Let me tell you how he looks. These people ever scared me. Not like last night. I think I had the biggest scare of my life last night. I, I think it was this it was the fear of God. Why did it? Donna do what she did. Because she wants the same man as you do. No, I don't think I don't think so. I I don't think she wants him. Then why is she after your life? I think the question is why is she after her father's life? Because she wants more and he doesn't. I think he's deeper than that. I think he's more psychological. That girl is sick. She, she's sick. Lizzie, leave Dr. Dede alone. You're such a young girl. You have a whole world ahead of you. Yes much more difficult than that. I I am a part of Didi's family now. I love him. <laughs> Tell us a possible lie. You. Lizzie, you don't love. It is not part of your characteristic. Well, I guess the cliche never say never implies. The more I examine my feelings towards him, the more determined I am to save him and of course his daughter. <laughs> Lizzie, run. You don't get it. There was this look I saw in her eyes yesterday. <laughs> it was the look of a little girl, a scared little girl stranded in a desert, crying out f for help. Lizzie, I think you need help. Yeah, you need help. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's all right, boy. To look for help. Lizzie. Lil, not now. Just leave me this girl. She was in my room. was with a knife. I, I just walked in and she, and she was there. And she held a knife. 
that there was there was this look on her face. It was it was just a look, but listen, listen, Lizzie. I want you to take time out. Please. Please. What are you saying? Don't you love me anymore? No, oh, Lizzie, it's not that. It's not like that. See, I, I care very much about your safety. I'm an old man. You're <laughs> not old. And you are in my life. I mean, I don't care how safe my life is if you're not safe. Well, I don't know what to say again. I don't know. And she needs to see a psychiatrist. I don't know. I don't know what to do again. I don't know what to say again. My heart is so heavy. My legs are so weak. My head is so empty. I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't it's so know. okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to take proper care of you, okay? But first, we have to get her help. Right? Yes, yes. Once in the <clears throat> well, it's like he calls me every day. It's like he calls me all the time. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> My John Fashion calls me like ten times in a day, and I can't seem to have enough of his voice. Oh. Well, my Captain Fred Olibo is a real Olibo man. Really? He's so real. <laughs> so, tell us what have you? <laughs> He had it with you yet, you know. What? You know. Like hell no, but that is the next thing on the list. It was like a tree line side of me. Oh my body was vibrating <gasps> like oh! I was on fire. <laughs> Sophia. What? You know your sword. Shut up like a million times. Oh, you mean in the borrowed dress? What do you think you're doing in my dress? <laughs> Have a date. She has a date. Get out of my dress now. Get out! Now! Get out! Now. <laughs> Get out. Oh, oh, oh. Get out! 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 You know, a man has to feel good about himself after sex. They like it. They like to feel like they are the man. You know, orgasm, I never had that once. I've freed it over a thousand times. You know, I am a specialist. Although, I didn't get an orgasm with Mike. Nevertheless, I enjoyed it. While it lasted, though. So? <laughs> that was the best sex I ever had. I know you came many, many times. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> it was wonderful. Baby, you were more than sugar. Oh, and you were more than honey. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, baby, you're quite excused.
marriage, then there will be a problem. But for now, once a player, <laughs> always a player. And this is just the first stage. <laughs> Sit back, there will be more. <laughs> yeah, baby. <sighs> Did you hear that? I have a degree. <laughs> Woo! Thank Obazim, yes. But, Captain, if you ask me, I'll marry you. Straight up. Hello, sweet nonsense. Where are you? Two minutes. All right, I'm waiting. What? You're outside? All right, come right in. Jennifer. You can do it. I'm in the mood, I'm in the groove, just wanna rock somebody. Hmm. I can see two boxes of rings. Oh, you saw them, huh? They are for two girls who I love equally. <laughs> That's a disaster already. I say it's fun. Fun in double fold. <sighs> Different nights. One night. Just one night. How workable is this arrangement? Okay. <laughs> you wanna hear it from me, huh? I'ma show you why I'm the player. The first engagement starts nine o'clock and ends eleven. Then she goes home. And uh, the second engagement starts 11.30 and ends whenever. Then she comes home with me. I'm not in the mood for a walk, girl. I thought you 
what you said we are going to do anything I want to Why are you so quiet? Well, I'm just listening to the sound of the night. Oh, oh, oh God! What, 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 what is it? My, my keys, I, I forgot them. Okay, maybe we should go back and get them. I thought I'd give them to you. Me? No. Nope. Yep, check. You, you did not give me your... Oh, is that it? Oh, no, oh. no, no, no. Ah, it's, it's nothing. Ah, you, you, think, you, you, you didn't give me your... What are you hiding? I thought I saw something. No, 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 no. no. Whoa, this is the most beautiful engagement ring I've seen in my life. No, no, this no, is no, mind blowing. Now no, no, listen, li li listen to me, Jessica. Oh, please, let's not spoil this romantic moment with words and words and Je words. Je Jacinta, Jacinta, you know I love you, don't you? Yes, sweet nonsense, I no, love no, you no, too. No, listen, listen, I don't know how to say you this. You have said it halfway already. You got this for me, didn't you? Isn't it? So why are you keeping me in suspense? Jacinta, marry me. Yes, I will marry you. Yes, yes Jacinta. Oh, that's marry so me, sweet. I never knew you had great courtesy. It's not in born. Every man learns what a woman wants. Sex was great the last time. Yeah. And I think we have to make it permanent. Mimi. If you woke up in the morning to find us on the same bed in wedding clothes what would you do
Honestly, I'd scream for help. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, uh, there were things that ought to be done that weren't done, huh? Like engagement, introduction, ADC. Huh? So, so why don't we avoid that romantic scream of, God help me. And do things the right way, you know, the way it ought to be done. everybody. Damn everything. Be my wife. Lord, my heart is threatening to explode. How can I ever say no? Captain? so much Some time, Sophia. I can see I didn't really keep you waiting. Oh, come on. Don't get dirty ideas into your mind. Really? You remember what you said on our first night? No. You said you were scared of that night. I'm scared of this night. Oh, come on, baby. I'm here for you. I have something for you. Right in this box. It's 
my little gift to you. Can I? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two girls, two engagements, one night. Hmm. If I was in the academics, I would have been a professor with this feat. If I were an actor, I would have won an Oscar for this role. But this is no academics. This is not a movie. This is Mike. A.K.A. Captain Oyibo. A.K.A. John Fashinu. A.K.A. Prince Charles. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Don't worry, you get to know soon. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. All right, all right, girls. Here I go. <coughs> you get to me. <laughs> Just feel it, girl. Okay. Come on. I'll spill it. Well, very soon, the daughter of man shall leave her friends and this useless means a life and shall become one with the captain and they shall sail far far away and they shall live happily ever after say jesus to go In that same far, far away land. This daughter of man would have already started living happily. Oh, oh. <laughs> like a self out girl. Oh my god, when? Oh, 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 wait, I have an idea. My dream, please. Let's know these guys we are talking about. You know, the kind of guys we they are who is settled for such. Shallow entities. Ah, oh, Jenna! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> check it out, girl. It's yeah, it's cute, Jenna. I'm so happy for I you. I am a lesbian lady. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go call him. Lesbian. Easy. Did she say miss? Good! I have to go. I have to go and call my. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You see, that's what I'm saying. Look at it. I have a good bar here that is filled up with books that can make a man go crazy. Instead of having some good drinks here that can spur up a man's sexual fantasies. Come on, man. Jesus. I wonder. Well, Bobby. I'm visiting my fiancés today. How does it be that you must see the two of them the same day? Well, they called and uh, they want me to come and know where they stay. All right. You don't trust me, huh? <laughs> don't worry, you see. Aha! That's what we're talking about. Huh? All right. Um, okay. Fifth Avenue, House 5, 4 p.m. prompt, Sophia, that is Sophia, okay, so I guess Mimi will be sending hers, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Woo! 
Oh shit, gosh, this is three twenty, brother. I gotta move. Huh? Okay. So why don't you uh, drink some books, and I'll go read some form. You know what I'm saying? Mike. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you called me. I heard my name. Yeah, I'm right here. What's up? You know you're really looking great. For real? You mean like uh, I look good, look good? Am I? Oh my God, I didn't know. I just no man. Tell me who I look like. Come on, man, guess. I look like Nancy Diaby. <laughs> yeah, I know you were gonna say that. Hmm. You like my jacket? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better not, man. This is 100 G's. 100,000 Naira. I know you can't even spend that on one book. Thank you. Avenue, 4 p.m. Mimi, 5th Avenue. Shit. Come to think of it, how would you cope if you found yourself in the same room with two of your lovers that must never, never know each other? Caught in the act. No. Coping when caught in the act. How will that sound for my next topic? of the two guys is going to have the privilege of watching me dance salsa. <laughs> Be ready to dance really good for my gym <sighs> fashion. I'm so yeah. glad your gym fashion will be watching because I don't want my couple to stay at the grass for dancing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sophia, get the shampoo. Oh, hold on girls. I'll get him. You can not see my pregnant. This is my thing. This is my fiance. Jen Passion. Don't you care me? Give me a break. Come sit. This honey here. It's my Jen Passion. What is wrong? I feel hot inside of me. My armpit. A mess. My skin is flooded with sweat. Oh my god. Slow down. Mimi. Is this your Captain Oibo? Thank you very much, Lucy. Yes. This is my darling fiancé, Captain Oibo. Forgive me for this ring. Oh. <laughs> Sophia, is this your John Fashionu? Yes! The very one whose ring I'm wearing, maybe what is your brother? <laughs> 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 I've seen many troubles in my past and I always live to tell the story. Boy oh boy. 
Today, I find it difficult to breathe because I'm in a deep shit. Gentlemen? Oh, Jesus. Please. What is your name? And who are you looking for? Who? Oh. Yeah, yeah, foul. We're still waiting for your answer. Are you talking to me? Oh, are you mad? How do you ask me such a stupid question? have been bumped by this crazy lunatic here. Who are you? Who are you? Are you? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, guys, oh, just take it easy, okay? Uh, look. Oh, shit. Uh, it's, it's not as if I, I knew you shared this in my apartment. Look, we can walk it out. Obviously, this heel heels aren't so useless. understand your fears. But don't you think you are crying more than they believed? Lizzie, I think you should leave. Are you, are you asking me out of your house? Look, Lizzie, this relationship is not taking us anywhere. I think it's all over. Don't say that chat to me, okay? I'm a part of your life now and I want to help. I, I love you. Don't, don't say that to me. Lizzie, get out. Get out, Lizzie.
What do you want? Please, she's here. Mm. She was? Please, can you get me out of here? Are you really sure about this? Oh, come on, I've been through this. Look, sure. <clears throat> Bobby, all the girls in Lagos have ganged up against me. See, man, it's just like a prophet that is not welcomed in this land anymore. I have to go to the place that, you know, and live my own life the way I love it. You see? And you think Port Harcourt is the right choice? Oh, yes. Port Harcourt is the place to be. I've heard stories. And I'm sure that business will be fun over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bobby, I have to go. Okay? I'm leaving you. Uh, you have a lot of space now. You can turn the entire house into a library. <laughs> you know what? What? I'm going to really miss you. Get out of here. You going to miss me? I thought I was much trouble like a friend. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I'll miss you too, man. I'll miss you. Mm -hmm. well, make sure you call me when you get to what happened. Are you giving me a call when you need honeys in your life? You will never change. <laughs> you! You know my style, man. Now, let me just help you. Bobby, you are just being too nice that I'm leaving. Yeah, I know why. <laughs> Enough time for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in Port Harcourt. Dear Mimi, Sophia, and Lucy, Lizzie was right about me. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot you're weak. So sad that I wake up in the same apartment with you without you noticing that I'm this sad little girl. Obviously, you had many things to contend with. Your little quarrels, gossips, and senseless competitions. I, I wouldn't deny the fact that I had great fun watching Lucy and Mimi fight. It is just so funny that Lucy always seems to get in everybody's way. <laughs> and Sophia, she never gets to fight, just quarrel. I'm leaving you all for a place. For a place I believe would be better. A place I would be free to love my father freely. Is it Wilson? God, I, I forgot your drugs. A minute, let me get it. He said people in this world would not understand if he told them he was marrying me. In that place I'm going, they will... Yes, they will understand. So, 
hello, goodbye, friends. As I take my father on a journey where I would find true happiness. Love is beautiful. With you, it's lovable. You seem untouchable and you made it so desirable. You wipe the children's tears and you always get for those and stress. Do we say goodbye? What are you saying? Come right. on, The yeah, fountain of your love. How about you should You are the children's bride. Our nation's bride. May your stripes forever immortalize you. You know what I'm going to do? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. What do you mean I don't know? Why not that you're Mimi? We can pray now, Lucas. We can pray now, Lucas. We can pray now, Lucas. What is saying? Is there something? Can you Since Tana departed and a lot of growing up has taken place, things are pretty good between Dede and I. And um, Lizzie Incorporated has been liquidated and permanently acquired by Dede. Like I said, a lot of growing up has taken place. It's a year now since Tana left us. Times have changed. People, places. It's a big wonder why there's so much transformation within one year. It all seemed that Tana's death made a difference. Now, it's no longer about me, me. Not even about me, me. No more fake orgasms. 
No more fake love making screams. I guess all I want to do now is get serious. Living here, right? Damn. Excuse me, pretty lady. 